Are you serious? It is officially time for a new vision. Okay, cool. Hold on a second, babe. Value, which cannot be taken away by anyone or anything. Hey everybody, welcome to Ashonda at Large, where we discuss faith, family, and the future of our community. I hope that you're having a blessed day, y'all, in spite of the challenges that we're facing here in this nation, around the world, throughout the diaspora, we know who is still in control. But y'all, I want to talk to y'all today about something, because y'all know I definitely cover family on this uh, this platform, and one of the things that I'm seeing with this, uh, this, this virus that has been released upon the earth is that we've got folks who are utterly tripping off of one thing, their children staying home. Yes, children have been called out of schools. The schools are closed in pretty much, I believe, every state for at least two weeks, some schools a month, and some schools have said indefinitely. Um, (laughs) Y'all, everybody's a homeschooler now. (laughs) You know, I want to talk about that because You know, for me, I have been um, an activist pushing particularly for the Hebrew community to homeschool our children for a very long time. Um, Not just on this platform, but when I'm out in the streets and I'm talking to our people, I talk about what it is that we do as homeschoolers. And we've been homeschooling for the last nine years. And initially, I was not somebody who was jumping at the homeschooling bandwagon or opportunity. And I had a lot of our folks telling me, don't you know about the uh, Brown versus Board of Education? And don't you know our people fought so that we could have the right to have our children in public schools? And, you know, I said, that's irrelevant because at the end of the day, our children are actually being um uh, dumbed down essentially in the schools they're being dumbed down and so our family listening to the voice of the most high yah made the decision to obey him and homeschool nine years ago and i have to tell y'all when I, we first started it was it was extremely difficult because i too went to public school and i was very much in the institutional mindset and i had to really just fire the committee in my own head but let's get back to what's going on currently in the culture is that many of the parents um, are, and now we say it, you know, I see a lot of people joking about it and everything, but you know, there's always a line of truth in every joke. A lot of our parents are feeling overwhelmed by the idea of having their children home. And I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, what are we going to do about our job situation and the children being home because I got to go to work and my kids can't be left home. But see this, the whole thing, the whole thing about it is that what you need to understand is that homeschooling doesn't mean that you have to teach your children from 7 in the morning until 3 p.m. at night, I mean, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Homeschooling doesn't mean that you have to have your children on some set schedule that the government has told uh, you that you're supposed to educate them. You can homeschool your children if it works better for your schedule. You can homeschool them in the evening. If you work in the evening, homeschool in the morning. If you work in the morning, homeschool them in the evening. Now, I can't figure out for you what your schedule is in terms of your job and being able to keep your kids at home and babysitting. I'm not I'm not here for that. What I'm saying is in terms of them still receiving education, you don't feel like you're boxed in to the institutional way of our set as well as what it is that they're learning like what we do is we look at the whole world as our classroom so most of the time my kids are at home and they're learning through books they're learning through videos they're learning you know just being in this environment Um, but when we do go out we look at that as a as an opportunity for education now of course we don't say that because we don't want them to feel like oh boy we have to learn something but learning takes place naturally and somebody told you maybe not said it to your face but somebody made you feel like you were not able to educate your own children and that is just not the case I'm making this video to reassure you that you can do this. This is not just the job of the mom, but the dad can be included as well. Y'all have to learn to work together because what messages that we're sending to our children, I know we're joking a lot, but the messages that we're sending is that you're a burden, that you're a problem, that I don't want to deal with you. I would rather hand you off to the system than deal with you myself. And look, I get it, y'all. I get it. The children can be overwhelming. They can exhaust you. I get exhausted every day and I tell my kids at night, I have clocked out, go to your dad. I'm tired. Um, 
I understand that we all need to recharge, but don't send those messages to your children because what it is is that that's a part of the culture that has caused us to have this breakage in our homes altogether to where we see our families as burdensome. This is actually conditioning by the culture, by the media, for our homes to be seen as burdensome rather than our homes to be seen as a place of blessing and our homes and our families to be intact. In this time especially is when we need to be be reliant upon our families to help us to get through. A lot of us are facing one situation after the other, whether we're dealing with uh, the economic situation that's coming out of this virus and job losses and cut hours. A lot of us are dealing with whether or not we can provide food for our families and all kinds of things are going through our mind that are stress factors. So it's very important that we don't look at our family as a stress factor, but rather gather our family in and look at our family as a blessing and to help alleviate the stress and the uh, overwhelming emotions that we're facing because of the situations that are going on currently in society. So I'm saying to you that think about the messages that you're sending. Your children are desperately in need of security at this time. They desperately need to know that while the world is going nuts, that there's sanity inside of the home. So don't have this attitude. I know we can laugh and we can joke. And some of the stuff is really funny. I was just looking at this comedian and he was, um, you know, talking about, oh, I can rely on you, God, for everything. I can rely on you even when the NBA is shut down. I can rely on you if there's no toilet tissue. I can rely on you if my finances get messed up. But then, oh, your children uh, might be home for a month or later. And it says, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? And it was a little funny. I'm not going to lie. But at the end of the day, we have to make sure we're not transferring those messages over to our children. That you are a problem. That you being home is a problem because I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to see your face. Let's wrap our arms around our children. Let's make all of life a teachable moment. Let's teach them how to have faith in the midst of great trials and get this opportunity to pour into them what the school system is not. Give them the opportunity to pour into them the word of the Most High Yah. Give them the opportunity to pour into them the history of the true Hebrews because you know the school system is not teaching them that. So take this as a moment to be able to stretch in them the truth of, of, of Yah and who they are as his as his children and as his people and that he will take care of us so i just wanted to come to y'all quickly and share that i definitely want to know what you think so please let me know in the comment section below have you been seeing that in the culture being pushed this anti-family uh, message is being pushed right at the moment where our children are coming are are, are home now due to this uh, virus or are you seeing things differently? Do you think, hey, you know what? It's not that serious. So, you know, you don't have to make a big deal about it. Um, let me know what you think for sure in the comment section below. And if you have not already, please like, share, and definitely subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell when you do subscribe so that you can get my videos as soon as they come out. Well, I want y'all to just be safe, be calm, understand that the Most High Yah is always in control. Whether you believe that this virus has come from animals and infecting humans, or you believe that this was done in the laboratory, whatever your beliefs are, understand that if you belong to the Most High Yah, He will take care of you and He will lead and guide you into all truth. So I want to thank you for tuning in once again to Ashanda at Large, where we discuss faith, family, and the future of our community. And as always, love yourself without hating your enemies. And until next time, Yah bless and Salamah.